Keisha. You alright? I'm fine. What was going on upstairs? What's with all the yelling and the screaming? My dad was yelling at the family in my work. My dad, he... He heard of them. Keisha. He heard of them? DeAndre, we have to call the police! Wait, Keisha. No. DeAndre! No, you listen to me. Don't call the police, alright? It's not alright, DeAndre. When you and your siblings are getting hurt by your father, it's not I have to report it. I know. It's not, but... Just hear me out. I am going to help my siblings out by getting them out of this house once I turn 18, alright? I made them that promise when I was young, and I'm not going to break it to them, okay? If you called, Terrence will be sent back to a mental institution. Vanish, Sydney will be probably taken away, and I'll be taken away as well, being holed up in an orphanage or something going through foster cares and even if we did if we got split up who knows that the foster people would hurt us even more Keisha it's not good so please don't call alright I won't call the police but please Promise me that you'll be okay. Oh, be okay, okay. I promise you. Can I stay tonight? I just want to stay tonight with you. I just. I just want to make sure that you're okay. Yeah. Uh, you can sleep in my bed. Thanks. I'll see if my sisters can give you something to wear. Or tonight. Okay.
here and yeah. You can wear it for a night. Thank you. Yeah, uh, just go to the bathroom and change. I'll, uh, get dressed as well. Um, uh, okay. DeAndre, we're going for my clothes. Oh, um, you don't have my closet for now. Um, okay. Okay. Now, what I mean, you can change my sister's outfit. <laughs> I don't expect you to be hot in it. Well, do you want me to go change? No, no. <laughs> oh my god, okay, just get in the bed. I need to get home so I can change my clothes for school. Uh, I just don't want you to leave. <laughs> Got my jean? I swear, the way how you talk in Korean. Okay, you little. <laughs> I gotta go home. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. I know, but you're too adorable for me to let you leave. Oh my god, the inventory, please, I gotta go. Can I please go? Uh, fine. Thank you. Alright. Um, if any of your sisters want to borrow my dress, uh, let them, it's fine. I gotta go, but bye. Uh, all right. Uh, where have you been? Your mother and I have been worried sick. Dad. I was staying at a friend's house, and I'm home now. I, I need to go to my room and change some clothes and go to school. Well, if you're staying at a friend's house next time, you need to call. Okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Just call us next time when you're going to a friend's house. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, hi. I didn't know you were up. Oh, yeah, I'm up. Well, I need to get home and stuff. Alright. I'll see you at school. See you at school.
Come in. Hey, what is this? Hey. So, tell me what happened at Vanish's house, huh? Oh, oh, Vanish and I were studying, and I confessed to her that I like her, and now we're together. Oh, yay, finally! My date with Jaden went well, and we're also together as well, and it's really cute. You know, hey, maybe we could do like double dates and stuff. Oh, um, not right now, Lucy. It's, um, we just started, so it's not a good idea. Alright, whatever. But, um, come on, let's get some breakfast, and we're gonna head to school. happy. And why are you so happy? I have a girlfriend. My girlfriend is Lilac from school. Great. You're officially winning the award of being a hoe. Excuse me? DeAndre, when you're an official man hoe for fucking with your girlfriend earlier. No, wait a minute. We weren't even fucking for your information. I was just messing with her. You're still close on fucking with her. I'll shut up. But I'm happy for you. What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Oh, hey Sydney. Uh, we were talking about me having a girlfriend because I got one. It's Lilac from school. Yeah, Vash is not to stop talking about her. Oh. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, kids. Let's take you guys to school. Alright. Well, let's go. Okay. I was gonna uh, text you because I didn't know where you would be. Well, at least I'm here now, and oh my god, your cobbler looks so cute on you. You look adorable. Oh, uh, do I? Yeah, you look cute. Well, you look lovely as well. Um, also, I got you a, a flower, but you're wearing sunglasses. But, um, I take out your flower because I thought it looked cute on you. Um, here you go. Oh, thank you. Shall we go inside? Oh, uh, sure. We can do that. Also, uh, maybe after school, if you want, we can go out and get a coffee. Yep, that's okay. <laughs> sure. Well, there she goes with Jaden. Hey, Lilac. Oh, hey, Vanish. The outfit you're wearing is cute. I like it. Thanks so much. Um, listen, Vanish. I'll keep your family a secret about what's going on at home. It wasn't a lie when I said I like you. I really do like you. I know, and Lilac, I like you as well. I know I haven't asked, but it, it's already simple enough. I'm, I feel like you 
be my girlfriend officially and will you go on a date with me sure I, I will but can you keep something a secret for me sure what's up Tell me in private Okay. I want to keep our relationship secret from my friends, please. Lizzie knows about us and she's cool with us dating. It's just... Lizzie wants to start a group with you, me, and Sydney. And... I would like that, but we just have to get Destiny and Ari off our backs. But for now, can we please keep our relationship on a damn low, please? I don't want, you know, people finding out and... Yeah, I'll keep it a secret. Even though if our relationship gets out anyway, we're still gonna do as a group. Yeah. Wanna go on the side? Yeah, sure. You go inside. Hey, Sydney. Uh, hey, Keisha. How have you been? I've been okay, I guess. You're looking at Vanish and Lilac. What's wrong? Everything okay? It's nothing. I, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm okay. Alright, if you need to talk, I'm here. I know. Hey, girls. What are you doing? We're good. I'm just talking with Sunia. Yeah. Alright. Um, hey, Keisha. Um, you wanna go out to the movies with me? Yeah, sure. We could do that. Alright, I could pick you up at 6 tonight. I'll worry about her. Okay, I'll stay here with Sydney. Yeah. Hey, Nikki. Oh, hey, DeAndre. Um, Sawyer's, this is DeAndre. He's my friend. DeAndre, this is Sawyer. He's my boyfriend. Well, hey, nice to meet you. My name's DeAndre. Yeah. I'll see you later, Nix. Okay. Well, he's charming. Relax, he's alright. We just started our relationship. He better not hurt you. He won't do on the trick. I gotta go inside. Bye. Keisha, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Well, I ever find someone who could be in a relationship with me. DeAndre has you and Vanish has Lilac. I know Terrence is single, but... I, I don't know. Sunia, have you ever dated anyone before? I wouldn't call it dating, because the boy's name is Peter. He was nice, helping me out with school work, but he asked me out to the movies and we went. Well, I went out and he asked me out to be his girlfriend and I just wasn't ready to date at the time. I'm sorry, Sydney. It's okay. DeAndre took care of him now. However, I just, I just wish I never met him. You'll be okay, but 
what do you mean DeAndre took care of him? DeAndre beat Peter up to protect me. Well, I'll tell you this. DeAndre loves you. I'll protect you no matter what. And I may be his girlfriend, but I'm not going to, you know, affect yours and his bond you guys got going on. I don't want you to be his third wheel or... N no! Um... No, it's... It's not like that, it's just... I have a... I have a close... relationship with all my siblings, but... I don't know, I, I don't know, part of me just wished I would have the nice, decent boyfriend like my brother, but a part of me is like, just a wait, and another part of me is just telling me to give up, but I don't know. Well, hey, I'll tell you one thing. Friendships are rare than relationships. Okay? Okay, and you and Kendall have been really great friends of mine. Oh, yeah, Sydney. Yeah? Some little shorty wants to see you. DeAndre, I may be a little shorty, but you're a tall motherfucking tree. <laughs> tree? Yeah, he's tall as a damn tree. Actually, he's tall as that motherfucking wall over there. Damn, DeAndre, are you like twins with a brick wall or something? Alright, god dang, Kendall. Um, there ain't no wall right to it. I mean, shoot, you're the one that has a big, giant a dick. Uh, oh, god. Oh, my god. Oh, uh, Kendall! Yeah, I'm looking at you. You got a short little vagina. Yeah, but at least I got a small one and you got a deep one. Okay, god dang. And besides, Keisha is not getting that every night. <laughs> dang, I really got the cat's tongue this time. Anyway, I'll see you in South Sydney. See you, Keisha. And bye, you fat motherfucker. What? I'm not even fat. <sighs> I'll see you inside. <laughs> I'm not even fat. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. But you only pick you up a six night? Yeah, six. Alright. Sydney, that outfit looks too tight on you. Might want to try the gym to lose that fat on you. You're looking like a tall cow. Jesse, I'm not in the mood right now. Hey! Jesse, why don't you leave Sydney alone? She hasn't done nothing to you. Well, she does need to lose the weight. That outfit does look tight on her. Jesse? I heard about what you said. You got detention. Excuse me? You have heard what I said. Now go back to your seat. <sighs> Thanks, Kendall. Not a problem. <sighs> All right, let's get the class started.
you deserve that for standing up against Sydney. I had to because you're the one that started it, Jesse. Fine. <sighs> well, you're not virtually bruised up, so that's a good thing. Um, you can hang here or you can go to class but there's nothing really seem to be wrong with you thank you all right call me if you need me thank you well i should get back to class if we're dehydrated finds i'm skipping sydney yeah can i tell you something before you leave Sure, what's up? I'm transgender. My dad doesn't approve of me being a girl, and I just wanted to tell you since uh, we're friends. I'm sorry that your dad doesn't approve, but Kendall, no matter what gender or sexuality or anything I don't care you're a kind perfect being you're perfect in your own way and I have nothing wrong with that I like you as you I really like hanging out with you and you're a really great friend Thanks so much. And heck, I should be thanking you for standing up for me against Jessie. She bullies me a lot and she always comments on my weight a lot. But you're great, kind, and sweet. Your weight has nothing to do with that. Thanks. But don't listen to Jessie, she's just fucking stupid. I know, and I won't. I gotta go to class, but I'll see you later. Bye! Thanks for driving me here. Yeah, that's not real. My mom was cooking dinner and I asked her if I could, you know, go to the movies with you and she said yeah and she let me borrow the car for now. Aw, well your mom is really sweet. But, alright, um, let me go inside. 
and get dressed and we can head to the movies. Alright, I'll wait out here. Alright. Keisha, Kun Sun Yoon, E Boy Nika, Gun Sun Yoon, Nam Chang Ching Noon, E Dida, Nam Chang Chingu? Yeah! Did my ears heard that correctly? A boyfriend? Ugh, can you guys just stop? Please! Oh my now look, I got to go, okay? I don't want to do this right now. Oh my! What the hell? Mom, stop! Mom! Emma! 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 You have no right to enter our household without our permission. I'm sorry, sir, but I was hearing noises from outside and I was waiting for your daughter so I can, you know, take her to the movies and I just came in to check on what's going on because I'm outside legit hearing you guys scream. Are you the boy who got my child in detention? <sighs> yes. I am. <sighs> Dad, please. Let's go, DeAndre. Well, when they get back, I'm going to go teach that boy a lesson. Oh my god, that movie was messed up. You can tell me. I haven't seen that woman ran out of the movie theaters in a while, man. <laughs> I never seen Poltergeist, dude. That movie flipped me out. Yeah, you gotta get used to horror movies like that. Yeah. Um, it is getting a bit cold out here. Oh, uh, you wanna borrow my jacket? Bury your jet? No, DeAndre. You'll get cold too. <laughs> Trust me. I don't think I would need it unless I'm wearing it at the school. So I'm gonna let you wear it. I I don't. I'm fine. And don't lie to me. I know you were gonna say no. And heck, I was gonna give you it anyway. Over here. Dad was worse. I wasn't ready for you to meet him like that. DeAndre, you tried to save me. And trust me, I have to even tell my parents. Because I know they were flipping devilly to make me not want to see you again. We probably we probably might move somewhere. We we probably you know will never see each other again. And I think that it's gonna happen again. It's going do not come trust you when I get back home. I, I, I don't even want to think about it. 
execution. that I will never hurt you, all right? And even though your parents may not see that, but we know. <laughs> Me too. Let me take it. Okay. Thanks so much for the night. It was great. You're welcome. Keisha, get inside. What, Dad? DeAndre's okay, okay? He's he's not bad. What did I fucking tell your ass? I told your ass to get inside, dude, and I'm not going there. I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything. I'm not gonna tell you again. You're a motherfucking bastard. You stay the hell away from my daughter. Sir, look, I promise you that I'm not going to hurt your daughter, okay? I love her too much, and I'm not going to hurt her. If you got caught in your fucking ears or something, did you not fucking hear me? You stay the hell away from my daughter. And trust me when I say that I'm not going to hurt her. You fucking bastard! DeAndre! You! What the hell are you doing wearing his fucking jacket? Daddy, he gave it to me. He gave it to me, okay? I, it was cold and it was raining. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Take it off. Dad, stop, Dad. Get inside. I don't care if you love my daughter. My daughter deserves better than a mutt who got her in detention. My daughter deserves to get straight A's, good grades, and a decent motherfucking boyfriend. Not a fucking boy like yourself. If you were a man, then you would leave her fucking be. Oh, yeah, another thing. You come on my fucking property, or if I see your ass near her, I'm gonna have the cops on you, or I'm dealing with you myself. 